Hello Capricorn and welcome to your monthly reading. This is a very quick and general reading for the month of June. Okay, so let's take a look here. Capricorn, there is a lot of spiritual emotional changes, so this is spiritually evolving. Um, make sure you don't miss any messages this month too, because I do see that uh, communications could be a little bit here and there. Um, this is also not just um, messages, you know, um, emails and voicemails and things like that. This is spiritual messages. Pay attention to your dream. Pay attention to um, the feelings that you have. So I'm seeing that kind of energy. I do see that this is um, a lot of talk is needed too, but you um, take the time to listen. Um, for some of you, this is uh, thoughts of going back to school or taking some kind of courses. I do see this is also um, knowledge coming through. You have a few spiritual towers here. You do have um, um, some negativity here. Decisions to make with love or some relationships. You could be changing your mind. Now, um, I feel there's a lot of agreements that may be coming through and the possibility. It's a very general e uh, reading. I see agreements coming in as well. Home and foundation is showing up and everyday lifestyle. For some of you, these are new homes. Um, you're, it's like adjusting to your new normal or you will be maybe moving residents. So new homes for some of you. And this could be coming as a surprise for some of you. This can be taking a relationship to another level. So it's like either getting engaged, moving in with someone. I feel there could be in your home, maybe you take someone in. Maybe your, um, a child comes back, an adult child to live with you or... Uh, you're taking care of in-laws or someone may be moving in is what I'm seeing. There's some kind of agreements uh, showing up here. I mean, I'm giving you examples. Um, there's a lot of help out there and there's a lot of options and you're kind of like mulling things over is what I'm feeling here. The worst is over. I want to say that it's like um, something that's been going on for a while that's been dragging or being um, you've been carrying some kind of weight on your back, so to speak, is you're coming to a new beginning and you're creating a new one. Um, I do see so much information is coming in, but there's something missing. Uh, communication is going to be very important as well. And I do see here, um, you're still working on something. And now I do see here a tower as well with your earned income or your, um, you know, your possessions with things of value. So I do see that there is some changes here, changes of heart and agreements may be coming through too, but you got a lot of help around you. Um, I do feel that you could be very critical of your own self here too, but then that kind of um, expands to other people and that could be out of frustrations, all right? So there is something negative here too um, with the adjustments being made, but, you know, things come, things go. Opportunities are coming through, news should be coming in. Um, a lot of you, this is major, maybe you're going to have to move, some of you may be moving out because you have to renovate totally a home or just say you're living in an apartment or a condo or something and um, there's got to be major renovations and you may have to move out or something for some of you is really showing up here, but it's positive, but even at the same time, it could be kind of a negative, okay? Or people are just new homes. It's like a, a form of residence here. There should be some good news and help coming in. I do see um, you could be dealing with children this month, too. There is rebirthing. Dating is possible here if you're single, too. And this is like, be too, you may have to make a choice between two people that you kind of like. So I do see that, too. Two suitors are showing up. I am seeing here, though, you know, I wouldn't, you know, any agreements that you do make, I would think things over, know what you're getting into, because you almost could be changing your mind. Sometimes it's just, you know, we feel differently the next day. So take your time with some things. I don't know why I'm seeing children really coming through here too, dealing with people younger than you or children are coming into focus. And I do feel the past is showing up too. Um, for some of you, this is somebody coming in from the past that you haven't seen or heard from in a while. And I see you being very happy. It's going to be like a very happy reunion. You have like a wish fulfillment here. It's very endearing energy too. Um, so I do see that now some of you may be making some kind of changes. This could be the way you were, um, you know, your earned income or value or how you're feeling, um, addressing self-esteem issues, things like that. And you have a lot of support around you and the adjustments you're making is going to work out for you. For some of you, this could be a seminar or something to do with, um, learning, maybe education at the same time, but it's a little bit of a process here. 
I do see good energy coming through there. So basically, what I'm seeing here, agreements could be made this month in some form or shape. And I do see a lot of you, new residents, new home. Okay, so yeah, love choices to be made. Um, and listening spiritually and um, paying attention to those messages and also what's going on around you, the nuances and messages, um, um, all kinds of messages. Well, um, Capricorn, there is a lot of, you know, kind of ups and downs and changes. And like I said, could be changing your mind or your feelings or how you feel. Okay. All right, Capricorn, that was your reading for the month of June. I hope you have a wonderful June, and I'll catch you back here for the month of July. Bye.